Welcome to Sweat and Stretch. This is mostly gonna be about the stretching and in order to get a good stretch in, you wanna be nice and warm. We don't wanna stretch cold. So the first 15 minutes, we're gonna do some cardio. Now you need to decide, are you gonna go full out and do the hardest option? You need a little cardio in your life today or are you gonna do option one? You just wanna get warm enough and really enjoy this stretch. Decide what your body needs today, go with it. Let's get started. Can't Deep breath in, raise it up. Shake it down this time. Into a twist. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, into the scissors. If you don't want to hop, we're stepping it back.
focus step. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's not working out. Keep moving your feet. Little jog, little march, anything. Let's take this side to side some more. All right, let's play the drum. Going down, up, down, up. With or without a hop. H-worm. Walking up to a plank. Walking back up. If you don't want to come up and down, reach up and down instead. at your own pace. through the nose, out through the mouth. Mm. 
let that heart rate drop down a little bit before we start the stretches. All right, when you're ready, join me on the mat. Have a seat. Now I'm gonna sit cross leg. If that's not comfortable, sit however is comfortable for you. Big shoulder roll, we're sitting up tall. Let's take that right arm up and over. Change sides. Come back to center. Let's roll the neck side to side slow. center, big shoulder roll. Now you're going to take your right arm across. Keep twisting in that direction. Look towards the wall behind you. Now sit up as tall as you can and breathe as deep as you can. Change sides, left arm across. Keep turning, look to the back wall. Sit up really tall. Letting go, roll onto your back. We're gonna windshield wiper the knees side to side slow. Arms are out wide for support. Let it go. 
back onto your back. We're gonna cross the right leg over. You can stay right here and push out on your knee if that's enough of a stretch. Or try pulling the other leg into the chest and holding here. Try to relax your shoulders. Nice deep breaths. We're gonna hold this one a little longer. If your foot is up in the air, you can twirl that ankle around. And change, dire change directions with your ankle if you haven't yet. change sides. Left leg comes across, pressing out on the knee or weaving your hands through. Pulling the leg in, relaxing into your stretch. ankle if you want. Change directions. Let it go, plant the feet again. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. Plant your feet, take your right leg straight up. Hold just under the knee or just above the knee, closer to your foot. And straighten out that bottom leg. Let's point and flex that foot slowly. deeper. Working with your breathing, staying relaxed. We want that maximum stretch without pain. And let it go. Nice job. Let's grab the left leg. 
below or above. Remember, it might not be the same on both sides. It doesn't have to be. We're going to take the right knee into the chest and hold it. Let's take this knee across the body, lifting up that right hip off the floor while trying to keep your right shoulder down. Now we're going to look over to the right. So you should feel a big twist in your spine and a big stretch through that hip. Let's take this leg across the body, picking up that left hip off the floor, left shoulder staying down, looking away from that knee. Stay in your stretch.
let it go. Roll to one side, then come up to seated. Bring your legs out front. We're either gonna tuck under the calves, use your grip on your calves to pull yourself closer, or if you can reach your toes, reach for the toes, pull yourself closer. Maximum stretch, no pain. So you should be able to breathe through it. Walking slowly back up. We're gonna bring the legs out wide. Then walk your fingertips forward. Relaxing your neck. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Slowly walk back up. We're gonna come up to kneeling. You're gonna take your right foot out to the front, and then we're gonna sink the hips down through to the mat. Shoulders back. Relaxing into the stretch, breathing deep. You should feel this stretch right through the hip flexors down through the quads. Now take your left arm straight up, big reach. Then you're gonna pull it over to the opposite side. Still sinking the hips down low. Come back to center. We're gonna shift the hips back. Straighten out that front leg and lean forward with a flat back. You can stay here or change this into the split stretch. So you would either inch that knee backwards or inch the foot forwards, whatever's easier. And hold yourself at the point of a maximum stretch without pain. Keep breathing through it.
Coming out of this slowly. It doesn't have to be gracefully. We're gonna take the left leg out to the front. Find your balance again. Shift the hips down, sinking them towards the mat. Feeling that stretch right up the hip. Take it over to the other side. Keep sinking the hips down low. back to center. We're going to straighten out that front leg, shift your hips back, flat back forward, and breathe. Stay right here or change, change it to the split stretch. Ease into it. One more deep breath. Ease out of the stretch. You're gonna stay down on your knees. We're gonna bring the knees out as wide as we can. Sideways on your mat so both knees are still on the mat. Line up your ankles behind your knees, relax the feet. Now you're gonna drop down to your elbows. Then sit back into your stretch gently. Nice deep breaths. See if you can sit back any further, working with your breathing. Slowly come back up onto your hands, fold your feet in, very slowly making your way up to standing. Take your time. A slow twist once you're up.
letting go of any tension you're holding in the low back. Now for this next one, you might want to hold on to something. Take one leg up, heel to glutes, pushing that hip to the front, or you could point the foot back, lean back, opening up through the hip, either or. enough of a stretch, focusing on pushing that hip out to the front. Let it go, let's change sides. up the hip. Either way, pushing that hip bone out to the front. And let it go. Come back to center. Let's sweep the arms back and front. And hold the right arm across. Changing sides. Let it go. We're going to place our elbows between our knees. Sit back. Now your elbows are going to push out on your knees. The knees are resisting. Tuck in your chin. Tuck your tailbone under. Round up from the middle of the back and hold. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Big shoulder roll at the top. Let's clasp the hands out in front. Tuck in the chin, round out your back. Overhead for a little back bend. open up your chest like this or clasp the hands then open up your chest if the hands are clasped you can peel them away from the back here
let it go. Let's sweep it low. Sweep it up. Give yourselves a hand.